glad to see you back. You guys are Hey, I'm glad to be back. Thank you very much. Anyway, I'm signing people up for a tables match to determine number one contenders for the team titles at Hellbound. Well, uh, that's a great offer, uh, but I've been really thinking about joining the uh, Hellbound Championship match. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. This is a huge opportunity for us. Who, who do you have signed up so far? Mm -hmm. That would be Crash Course and the team of PC and Sage. Oh, we so have this. Come on. The tables match? You serious? So? I did that Legacy in the Lumberyard match. Yeah, that's true. You got a good point. Listen, just sorry. Uh, just give it a little bit of time, and then I'll, I'll get okay. back to you. All right? Okay, just try to get back to me tonight. How about it's like right almost now? All right. That's fine. All right, I got to I got to I'm sorry. I have, I don't like being put on the spot, alright? Mm -hmm. I just, let me get back to you, alright? Let me think about it, I gotta say it's a word about it. Alright? Right? Yeah. Alright. Oh, Sage, you're right. The following contest, the singles match, is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. One fall? 20 minutes? Yeah. 20 minutes. Entry first. Hailing from North Fork, Virginia, the Eagles of Justice, Save the Road! Welcome back to Aftermath, ladies and gentlemen. I thought we were just about to see another team sign up for this tables elimination match, but Kevin Chaos has asked Moody Star to uh, give Total Chaos some time to think here. Katie Doobie seemed very confident in wanting to sign up, but Kevin Chaos uh, says he doesn't like to be put on the spot, so maybe we'll get an answer from Total Chaos either before the night ends or hopefully next week, as we'll be one week away from Hellbound. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, We've got one-on-one -on -one action. Sage Cirello and Kevin Chaos, the new battle one-on-one. -on -one. They very well could be opponents in Hellbound. Right now, Paul Clement and Sage Cirello are signed up. Crash Course are signed up officially thanks to the guidance of Sin. I still don't understand that one. And possibly Total Chaos, depending on what the decision-making of Kevin Chaos and Katie Doobie is. Await the arrival of Kevin Chaos, the sensei of intensity, about to make his way to the ring for one on one action with Sage Zarello. And here comes the sensei of intensity, Kevin Chaos, always full of energy. And I'll call the sensei of intensity for nothing. And he's going to have one-on-one -on -one action with Sage Zarello. And he's going to need that intensity if he wants to even get Zarello off his feet. Sage Zarello mimicking Kevin Chaos. You can't mimic that one. Let's do this from Kevin Chaos. I love it. He can say it any way he wants to go. And let's do this. It'd still be good. Or he could come along and be all like, hey guys, let's do this. Or he could just straight up come up in your face and be like, let's do this. Either way, Kevin Chaos says it, it just gets you pumped up. I'm already pumped up here in the commentating booth. He said, let's do this, I'm ready to do this, let's do this. Kevin Chaos in the corner, hammering away on St. Zarello, rights and lefts. Kevin Chaos is a southpaw, but he was hammering away with both hands. Zarello reversing, we got an Irish whip reversal. Zarello hits the corner, here comes Chaos, nobody home. He hits the turnbuckle pad. What do we got here on a stage? Kevin hits, he hooks the ropes and he drops a leg drop right across St. Zarello. We get a cover, early cover, and we only get two. Kevin slowing things down right now with a side headlock. That could be a mistake. Somebody like Sage Zarello, with his size and girth, is going to want breaks. He's going to want rest, and you're going to be able to allow him to uh, re-energize, so to speak, if you don't keep the pace up like that there. Kevin Cal saying, hey, I give you a break, and then I pound your skull. Sounds like a fair trade-off, I guess. Sage trying to get out of that side headlock. Couple of clubs to the spine and elbow to the midsection. Irish, Irish whip. 
Nothing happens there. Oh, Sage using his size and girth to his advantage here. This is a clothesline. Oh, a drop kick right to the shin. And a shining wizard to the side of the head by Kevin Chaos. What a combo there. Drop kick the knee and shin to get him down to a knee. And then shining wizard to the side of his head. Kevin's called for it to be over. He's going for the chaos theory, no way. And it's not going to happen there as he gets back dropped over by Sage Zarello. Kevin looking for the chaos theory, not happening there. Sage now takes Kevin into the ropes. Oh, and down across the knees. That could have broken Kevin's back on that one. Kevin's brother Q, a former WAW champion, no longer with us here in WAW. He's got a history of back problems. Kevin could join him if he takes too many more hits like that from Sage Zarello. We got a double arm DDT on that one. Sage taking down Chaos. Sends him off into the corner with an Irish whip. Kevin comes stumbling out into a sidewalk slam. Sage should go for a cover here. He really should be going for a cover. He just gave Kevin Chaos a good five seconds to recover. And for a guy like Kevin, an athlete the level that Kevin Chaos is, that's uh, just a little too much time. Vertical suplex by Sage Zarello. He may have given him that time, but he wasted no more time in delivering that vertical suplex on Kevin Chaos. And we've still got a main event to come, ladies and gentlemen. After this, we are going to see Epo, the number one contender to the WAW Championship, team up with JT Lambo to do battle with the WAW champion himself, Christian Sane, the man that will face Epo in absolute victory and hellbound, along with his partner, bulletproof Joey Staples. Sage says if this match happens, Kevin and Katie wouldn't win it anyway. But he gets reversed and hit with a drop kick. And another one by Kevin Chaos. Kevin hammered away there briefly with a left hand. Irish whip. What do we got here? Lower slam by Kevin Chaos. Oh my, what a feat of strength there by Kevin Chaos. Lifting the large body of Sage Zarello off the mat for a power slam. That's impressive. Kevin now walking over to Sage, picking him up. No way. What is he going for here? Chaos effect. I cannot believe he lifted him on his shoulder. Then he hit the chaos effect. Then he gets a three. Kevin Chaos with a huge victory over Sage Sorello. I mean, a victory over Sage is huge because he's huge. Get it? Ha ha ha! Yeah, I'm sure Sage has never heard that one before. I don't think there's a joke in the book that Sage Sorello hasn't heard. And an insult to the injury. Fit in the water in the face of St. Zarello. Kevin Chaos victorious here on Aftermath. And coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, as I just said a few moments ago, it is our tag team main event attraction here this week on Aftermath. Epo and JT Lambo are going to do battle with Christian Zane and Joey Staples, who will be accompanied by the Dirty Dealer. Kevin Chaos taking off out of here. Wait a second. Kevin's calling, excuse me, Sage is calling for Kevin. You want to fight with us so bad? Ms. Moody and Star offered you the proposition. I'm thinking about, you know what? <laughs> You're absolutely right. I've been thinking about it. I think Katie and I are going to take that challenge. Yeah! Yeah! It's totally chaos versus you and that piece of trash, PC versus. First, uh, what's that new guy that team? Crash course! Crash course! In a table match! Hey, help him! Help him! <laughs> well, I guess Kevin Chaos isn't too good at remembering names. Couldn't remember the name of the other team that had signed up being Crash Course. 
So we've got another team added to this tables match in total chaos. But coming up next is our tag team main event here on Aftermath.